to get to the food yes. portion of this festival, right? Why we were talking about the wonderful colors. I think we need this in our studio all the yeah. time. Yeah. I love this look. We're talking about delectable island cuisine, all island artwork, live Caribbean music, and it is all part of the annual Caribbean Heritage Festival, which is taking place Saturday in Tampa. Yes, and here with the details, we have Sarah Combs all the way on the end, very colorful over there, and then she's the CEO of University Area CDC, along with Andrew Ashmead from Jerk Cut, who is giving us a, a preview of the, some of the food that can be had. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Excited yeah. you guys are here today. We've talked about this festival before and I'm assuming it's just one of those that continues to get more popular, busier, bigger, maybe more colorful each year. Explain what this festival is all about. Absolutely. Well, we're so excited to the University Area CDC is partnering with Can Do to put on the ninth annual Tampa Bay Caribbean Heritage Festival this Saturday at the University Area Park. And we're so excited to be able to really share the culture and the flavor of the Caribbean community. And what a better way to do that through music, food, yeah. song, dance, um, all kinds of wonderful wonderful things that will be happening this Saturday. What a perfect way to kick off the summer too. We just mm -hmm. mentioned the kids are out, you know, out for school and what, what says summer better than an event like this? Absolutely, and How it's a family-friendly it event yeah. as well. Do you need tickets to go? Kind of set the stage Absolutely, for absolutely. So uh, you can find tickets. You can get them now, or you can get them uh, the day of. You can walk up and, okay, you and can get them up. as okay. well, absolutely. And um, like we said, it's family-friendly. So we would you know, come out and enjoy a wonderful day of really experiencing the Caribbean culture. And, and we ask that uh, you come with a positive, open mind and just learning a little bit more about what the flavor of the Caribbean community is. Um, is, is, is available here. And by the way, we saw 10 and under free. Yeah. So when you say yeah, family friendly, that is a good way. But you know what, when I always think of the, the Caribbean, I think of some food and we think of our friends at the jerk hut. Okay, we were discussing, you are not a jerk. Where did the name come from? Because I mean, it is. It's Definitely jerk not a jerk. It is, what, where did the name jerk come from? Because it's not a, not a nice word, but yet it's some really nice food. We're not really sure, but it, well, there's one thing that jerk really stands for. Jerk stands for the seasoning that we actually put on the meat and the way that we cook it. Now, the, the main things that make jerk taste like jerk is pimento berries, which is the same thing as allspice. Tastes like a combination of like cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And then another one would be the scotch bonnet pepper. That's the star of the show right there. And then you want some fresh thyme, some fresh green onions. Here we have some jerk mix that we, a jerk rub we make at the restaurant at Jerk Hut. And we also make a jerk paste also. So, How spicy is it? Um, we can tune it down, but yeah. it's nice to have a little kick at the end. And yeah. then we make this amazing red sauce, which is just sweet and tasty. And then when you marry that with that, put some rice and peas with it, perfect. Okay. Well, it kind of looks like a salsa, but is it not... It, it, well, it's kind of like a chunky sauce because it has like onions and tomatoes and a bunch of secret stuff okay. that we can't secret talk about. Ah, oh, he's not going to go okay, there. So, That's all right. Which, by the way, actually, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, we're talking about the sauce here and then also the ingredients. I didn't realize nutmeg was in that. That's surprising. Amazing flavor you get from the nutmeg. I don't know. And that. you would never think you'd put it on meat, right? Right? Yeah. I, I'm a nutmeg fan, so I had no idea that's what makes it. Well, I know you've got some uh, meat that we're going to... Uh, what are you gonna do? Start? You're gonna jerk season it? Am I using it correctly? We're gonna, we're gonna jerk it up right we're now. All right, right. Up. So I'm gonna throw this thing together. I'll just put this in here carefully. And what kind of meat do you? I mean, obviously it goes you know well what? on chicken. It's chicken, pork, lamb chops are amazing with it. If you like that, if you want to cook up something really, really, really um fast and easy at home, some chicken tenders. Okay. You can throw it. The best way to cook it is put it on a charcoal grill, but you don't really have to. You know, for the people who are doing um like the keto thing. Yeah. You get some jerk food. Put that on a salad. So this is keto friendly. You would never know a healthy could taste so good. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're so, selling me on I that know. one. Okay, while well, he's finishing up, whipping up here, this is only one of the examples of the different cuisine that we will have. Absolutely. We'll have some food trucks and you'll be able to taste some amazing, not only food, but beverages as well. Okay. Oh. Is it all outside? Is it inside? It is. It's all outside at okay. the University Area CDC Outdoor Band Shell and Pavilion. So it's a wonderful day to be able to experience um, music at the park yeah. and experience just a beautiful day. We're supposed to have wonderful weather as well. And there's a fundraiser, obviously, component to this. So what does the money help, right? I mean, what do we do? Why should people come out? Sure, absolutely. Well, you know, it's important for us to be able to raise funding for the University Area CDC, which mm -hmm. helps to improve the University Area community. And then because also... I think people are still finding out about you guys. Absolutely. So if you can, kind of mention what this, you know, why it's so important and crucial that Absolutely. you're here in our community. Yeah, we're, we're, University Area CDC is working really hard to improve that area in housing, um, education, workforce, all of those key components to really uplifting a community. And then the, uh, the funds will also go to support CANDU, which is the Caribbean American 
International Development Organization, okay. which is who we're partnering with to really show how amazing the Caribbean culture is. And we have a really large population of know, Caribbean people, people in our community. And so we're excited not just to bring the Caribbean population together, but everyone to, to really enjoy and experience the culture. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to show is come and learn about this amazing culture that we have in our backyard. And what a wonderful way to do it through this wonderful festival well this said. Saturday. Uh, we look forward to seeing everyone. And we haven't even touched on the music, which we're going to do later what? in the show as Good well, tease. with a special performance as Good well. Tease. So thank you so much for yes. coming You're in so once again. Welcome. How many locations here in the Bay Area? Four locations and stuff. And the most exciting thing is that we're moving our main location on Fowler across the street to a beautiful, lovely building. Oh, so, all right. We'll have to have you back when June. that's coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, again, you can enjoy this Saturday. There's the information on your screen again. Don't forget, tenant under free. There's the website too, so you can get more information that way. Again, thank you guys.